All right, so one more thing under the appearance that I want to take a look at is the menu. That's very important because when you create pages on your website, they don't just naturally appear on the website itself on the front end. You have to set up a menu and a navigation area and tell it where that's going to go and like what goes in it. Some things, some themes will pull in all pages by default. You really don't want that though. Maybe you've got like several versions of a page or different things like that. You don't want all that kind of stuff. You really want to have full control over it. So within an appearance, under menus here, you'll see that by default there is just no menu created. So I'm going to create one. I usually like to call it main menu. Now you can call it whatever you want. That's really not displayed anywhere other than within the back end here. Where it does become important is if you start to have other menus. Maybe you have a footer menu. Maybe you have a sidebar menu. Maybe you have a blog menu. Maybe you have a mobile version of a menu. Different things like that. You're going to want to know what the name is so you know where to put it properly. Um, but for the most part, you can just call this one main menu and be fine with it. And we're going to say create menu. Now we load that menu up with whatever pages we want in it. So here's all my pages right now. So you can see on our pages at the top, all the pages that make up my website are right here. And I can choose all of them or just some of them. Maybe I don't want all of them. Maybe I don't want sample page because that really wasn't a page that I created. So I'll say add these to the menu. And the top one is going to be the menu item that's in the far left. So these are actually kind of in reverse order. So all I have to do is just click and drag. And I can move these guys around. Now if I wanted home page to have a drop down, I could say about, just pull it over to the right a little bit, and you can see this changes to sub item. That makes it a drop down item from the main menu. But we're going to keep that the way that is right now. Uh, if I wanted to, I can also pull my post into the menu. Now, I really don't want to do that here. There's better ways to do that. You can create a custom link. So maybe you wanted to link out to um, another website or your Facebook page or something like that. You could put the full URL and the title of it in here. So I'm going to put just like a placeholder right there and I'll say, all right, so now I can create a whole new page or a link basically. You can see that one's called custom link though as opposed to a page right there. So I can have that go out. Now I can also pull in some of those categories that I was using in my blog post. So if I wanted to, again, maybe the majority of my website is all about blogging and all the navigation should be all the different categories so people can find what they're looking for. This would be a good place to put those categories into and I can add them the same way I have everything else. But for right now, this is cool. I'm gonna say save. Now this is half the battle. So we've created the menu, we've added the pages to it. Now we have to say where that's gonna go. And that's where it's gonna change from blog, uh, excuse me, a template to template. You can see up here now I've got manage locations. Some themes are gonna have one or two areas to put a navigation area. Some are gonna have four and five. So this one has the main navigation, which is gonna be right here. And I'll say which menu, I'll say the main menu. Social icons, I didn't create any for that right now. So I'm gonna leave that one blank. But again, there could be a predefined uh, footer navigation area or a mobile option, different things like that that I could have a different menu for that I want to put into there. So I'll say save changes. And I'll come back to my website and I'll hit refresh. And you can see on the left hand side now, now I've got home, about, contact, and Facebook. I could just as easily come back to my menu and say, you know what, I don't want Facebook in there. Let's go ahead and remove that. And I'm going to save that. And I'm going to come back and refresh this guy up here. And Facebook went away. So just like that, I was able to create all these pages, create the navigation area, and kind of tweak out a very nice looking theme. Next thing I want to do is talk about some of the plugins that we're going to want to use for our website. And then we're going to get deeper into blogging.